everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. Today we are gonna do block one of the Socialites Quilt Along presented by the Fat Quarter Shop. This is Socialites 2. Fat Quarter Shop presented Socialites 1 a couple years ago. Now let's take a look at the fabrics. I pulled a bunch of different fabrics all in the same color scheme, yardage, fat quarters, scraps, novelties, big prints, small prints, medium prints. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that and then we're gonna jump right into block one. Here's the block that we are gonna be doing today. They offer in three different sizes, three and a half, six and a half, nine and a half. And I am kind of gonna do this differently. Some of the weeks I'll do the three and a half, some I'll do six and a half, nine and a half, some I'll do a bunch of the same blocks. I'm not exactly sure, you know, uh, my plan for this is a little bit unclear, but I'm gonna kind of just do whatever I wanna do. So here's that, and then let's just quickly take a look at these fabrics. We don't have to, you know, go through all of them too much, but you can see this is kind of the navy, blue, brown, a little bit of burgundy color scheme. Here's some of the novelties that I was talking about. Uh, again, the blues, there's a little hint of gray. I kind of just pulled whatever I had that I thought might work. So that's for the smaller pieces, for the yardage. This is the same as this one in just a different colorway. I love this brick fabric here. This fabric I'm not totally crazy about, but I think it could work in this quilt with the fish, hearts, leaves. Airplanes, I think this is a, this is a recreation, a 1800s recreation fabric. These horses are awesome. I bought this initially for a quilt of valor, which I'm still gonna use that for, but I think I have enough of this that I could also use it a little bit in this project if I wanted to. Kind of a basic, this is a grunge. I love this one. We have the sailboats, which I think might be from the same line as the fish, but I'm not 100% sure. We have more fish. And then here are kind of just some more neutrals. The navy, a stripe, plaid. Last stack. This is kind of a funny one. These are like faces of famous people. Logs. I love this one. I just recently got this on a little fabric haul. This is another one that I love. Very versatile. That would make a nice border or binding. Stars. Neutral. This is the same print as this. So I think these ones all kind of went together, which makes sense. And last one. All right, so let's let me let me think about what I need. I need three different prints and then a background. Now, not all of my backgrounds are going to be the same for every block. Actually, I think like almost all of them are going to be different. I think it's just more fun that way. Uh, but let me find a background for this particular block, maybe like this, and then I'll find three fabrics to go with it. These are the fabrics that I'm gonna use. This is gonna be my background. This will be the little tiny pinwheel that you kind of see behind the bigger pinwheel. Then this blue will be the big pinwheel. And this blue will be the little corner pieces. Now I'm gonna make four of these three and a half inch blocks. I have never made a three and a half inch block before. It's gonna be super teeny tiny, so we'll see how that goes. But the other thing I'm gonna do, I'll take a look at this bigger one, is that instead of this triangle being right up against this pinwheel piece, I'm gonna have the dark part of the triangle on the outside um, and then the background on the inside of the triangle. I've not cut all my pieces out, but I have cut a lot of them out. Uh, I like to cut a little bit and then sew things together and then cut a little bit more. That's just how I prefer to do things. What I did want to mention is that this video here, I will be creating block one, but in future videos, I'm going to do two blocks at a time. So I'll do block two and three in the next video. Fat Quarter Shop releases their blocks every Friday, once a week. 
Um, so for me, my next video will be in two weeks since I'll be doing two blocks in that video. The other thing I decided that I wanted to say is that because these pieces are so teeny tiny, I mean, this piece here is literally seven eighths of an inch. It's tiny. Um, so because they're so small, I decided that instead of just flipping this corner block around, I'm just going to make it all background. I think that will just make it a little bit easier and give this shape here a little bit more breathing room. For the bigger blocks, I think it, it would be fine. But as you can see, the teeny tiny blocks, you don't really need that corner split in half. It could just be the background. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this pretty blue fabric. I've drawn diagonal lines on these. And let's see, I guess, which way am I going to go here? It's going to go like this. And I'll sew along the line and then flip it and take another one, sew along the line and flip it and I'll have a little flying geese block here. These are pretty cute. And I will say, I am not striving for perfection here, as you can see. Uh, at the end, if this block comes out and I like it, I'll keep it. And if I don't, I'll put it with my other orphan blocks and use it for a different project. But sometimes wonky can be really cool. And then other times wonky can be uh, just kind of not, kind of sloppy. So if it looks sloppy in the end, I'll use it for something else. But if it's kind of wonky and weird, I like wonky and weird. So the next step, I have to put this block to this block. These little pieces, some came out better than others. Let's see here. But I'm not going to redo any of them. I think that they're good enough. I think that my quarter inch was a little bit fat. Uh, generally speaking, my quarter inch seam is a little fatter than a traditional quarter inch. So that's something I have to keep in mind with these teeny tiny blocks is I need to take my seam much, much thinner. But I think these are fine. When it, what I believe is that with these tiny, tiny three and a half inch blocks, and granted, I've never done three and a half inch blocks before, but I think you can't obsess. Sometimes with this kind of thing, if I if I sew something and it's not, it's a little off, I'll just redo it. With these tiny things, I feel like I would just be redoing every single piece that I did. Um, but I think they're looking pretty good. And the next step is to sew. I made my little diagonal there. And I think you sew it here and then flip it like that. So I'm gonna do that. As you noticed, I am not giving you, you know, thorough instructions or dimensions here. I think that that would just make for a, a long and boring video and you can go look up the pattern yourself. Uh, but if you do want somebody to really take you through step by step, um, Kimberly Jolly of the Fat Quarter Shop, she does have a video on how to make this uh, and she gives extensive instructions so you can take a look at that. But this is more like watch me struggle and see what happens kind of, kind of video. I'm going to do this part next. These are pretty adorable. I think that they're going to be laid out like this. Now, this I think is super cute, but I think that, I wonder if it's going to get less cute because of all the seam allowance it's going to be, ha oh, hold on, something's wrong. Here we go. Uh, so this is kind of a perfect block like this but we're gonna lose a bunch of the red in the seam allowance. So I'm not sure how I'll feel about it at that point. And then I think these are gonna go like this. I haven't read ahead of the instructions yet, but let's take a look. Yeah, so I think these will be like this. And then I'll have these four pieces in the corner. That's pretty cool, I really like that. Let's put this together. Here it is. I think it is pretty great. I had to iron it a lot to get it really flat. I did not iron my, my seams open. I never do. I iron them to one side. So it is possible to iron them to one side in a teeny tiny block. But the center did get a little bulky, so I ironed the bejesus out of it. 
And in doing so, I think I, I think I dyed the center of my fabric or something. Do you see how it got a little bit lighter there? I think I just scorched it, which is okay. Doesn't bother me one bit. So now I have to decide how many more of these I'm gonna make, if any. And you can see that this is by no means perfect. Like this is doesn't meet where it's supposed to on that corner. But besides that, it's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, let's see how it measures. So it measures, oh my gosh, like three and a half exactly. Let's turn it the other side. Three and a half exactly. Okay, that, that's good to know because this block was labeled as challenging. And the thing I'll say about that, because I am by no means an expert quilter at all, I would consider myself to be beginning, beginner to intermediate, um, but you just read the instructions, just follow them along, make sure your quarter inch is lined up. But what I would say about the whole beginner, uh, intermediate, advanced level blocks is that I wish I could remember who said this, but somebody, some famous quilter once said that you are a beginner for a little while and then you're intermediate like for the rest of your life. And I kind of... 100% agree with that. Um, so don't let a block that, that is labeled as challenging uh, deter you at all. It's, it's, you can do it. Um, let me think what I want to do, how many more, if any. Uh, maybe I just want to do one of these. Let me think. The other thing I'm going to do here, because these blocks are going to kind of be laying around for a while, um, and because there's so many seams, who knows how long you know this quilt along is going to be. I'm just going to put a dab of glue just at the, the seam corners here. And that way, hopefully it'll, they'll be less likely to come unraveled over you know the time before I can attach them to another piece. Instead of making more of this small block, I decided to experiment a little bit and I made all my pieces just a teeny tiny bit bigger. Now I didn't go up to the six and a half inch block, which, would be this one. So this is, there are not instructions for this size. Basically, most of the pieces here were about one and one fourth inch and I took it up to one and a half inch for most of the pieces. Um, but I did make a change and that is, you see how this is a pieced block right here? I made my triangle just completely the burgundy. So I took out this little piece just to make it a little bit easier and I actually do not like it as much. I like this way better with the pieced block to make the burgundy just a little bit smaller peeking out from behind the pinwheel. But what I do really love about this is, and if you go know, anyway, oh, I put these together and I think they're super cute. They're like, like a parent child block or big sibling, little sibling. Thank you for joining me for today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.